Hello, I'm Mrs. Jones, and my contribution for Will Book Day is going to be um, a book that I grew up with. Now, not many people know um, that I'm half German, that my mother um, was four years old when she came from Germany over to England. And my grandmother brought back, um, brought with her to England or Wales or Great Britain, um, some German literature. And one of those, this is not the original that I grew up with, but I did buy it for my son. One of these was called Strupelpetter. And it was written by um, a German doctor, Dr. Heinrich Hoffmann, for his younger patients in an attempt to kind of relieve their boredom while they're in hospital. And you can see from the cover, it's quite scary. Um, I grew up with the German version of this, and whenever I went over my grandmother's, she used to read the poems um, in German to me. Um, but it's, it's had a great impact upon my life, and obviously I bought, when my son was growing up, when he was quite young, I bought, uh, bought an English version for him. So, it's beautiful illustrations, and I'm going to choose for you today um, the first of the poems called shock-headed Peter. Now, I'm sure we can all empathise with Peter's haircut there or lack of it because of COVID lockdown restrictions. We haven't had a chance to have our hair done. And shock-headed Peter. Just look at him. There he stands with his nasty hair and his hands. Oh, see, his nails are never cut. They're grimed as black as soot. And the sloven, oh, I declare, never once has combed his hair. Anything to me is sweeter than to see shock-headed Peter. And after a few uh, live meetings in the past few weeks, I can confirm that a few of our students now look like shock-headed Peter. But if you get the chance, it's a, it's a really, really brilliant um, book to read. And it, I'm going to say it's before it's time. It's before it's time because it deals with issues that are still relevant today. I'm going to say anorexia. I'm going to say racism. And I'm going to say bad manners at a dining table. But in a way that makes it relevant and accessible. And there's my contribution for World Book Day. Happy World Book Day.